Since October 7th, Israel have dropped the equivalent of two nuclear bombs on the Gaza Strip. According to military analysts interviewed by the Financial Times in this article, in just seven weeks, the destruction that we've seen in northern Gaza almost rivals the years-long carpet bombing of German cities during World War II. What we are witnessing now uh, in Gaza is one of the most intense aerial bombardment campaigns in history with conventional munitions. Hamburg, uh, where uh, Allied bombing killed 45,000 German civilians. Darstadt, where they killed 12,500. Dresden, where the Allied bombers killed 25,000 civilians. Well, now Gaza is likely to be remembered as a place name and that's going to be on this infamous list. Some of the munitions Israel are using are pinpoint accurate, which should limit collateral damage. But over 17,000 Palestinians have been killed, most of them women and children. Often referred to as an open air prison, Gaza is a haunting city of death and ruins where some 60% of buildings in northern Gaza are severely damaged. Some of the bombs used by Israel, identified to the Financial Times by explosive experts, are earth-shaking 2,000-pound bombs whose use has been widespread in this conflict. But just how powerful are these bombs? Buildings pancake, their support disintegrates, so they collapse in on themselves, and then there are area effects including the secondary fragmentation of cement, metal, people's cell phones, and everything else that flies out from the explosion at supersonic speeds. This is what Mark Galasco, military advisor and former Pentagon intelligence analyst, told the Financial Times. October 7th has also cast renewed scrutiny on where Israel gets its ammunition from, a scrutiny that has sparked demonstrations outside arms factories like defense giant BAME Systems, who apparently produce parts for Israeli fighter jets. The UK, for example, has licensed arms worth over £442 million to Israel between May 2015 and August 2022. They're now facing a legal challenge in the High Court because of it. Just this week, Amnesty International called for a war crimes investigation into Israel's use of £1,000 and £2,000 US manufactured bombs that were used in two Israeli airstrikes in Gaza in October, killing 43 civilians, including 19 children. As Israeli forces now push deeper into southern Gaza, the bombings have continued. But to what end? We don't have many strategic bombing campaigns where the target, the population who could face the bombing is as small as 2 million. The high level of intensity of civilian bombing is when the attacker who's using the air power kills about 1% of the target population. That is what has happened in Gaza as we speak. 